Pittsburgh is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. He's going to try and scramble. He's tackled in the open field. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And they make the stop at the 45 yard line. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. On big hit, he's going to lose yardage. Loss of two. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 43-yard line, it's second down. the counter left. Makes it to the 47. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. This is a big time read by this safety. You know, a lot of times as a safety, you're sitting back there making sure there isn't a play action pass or a play potentially that can go behind you. I think this safety has that sixth sense. His instincts on that play were special. He read the run, got into the backfield, and made the play. Gets it away. Wait a minute, he's going to throw. Brought down at the 50. They don't pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 48. Pass is tipped away. He was able to just tip that one away, right out of the receiver's reach. it deep. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. They get this one off and it's a beauty. This punt goes over the goal line and this will be a touchback. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Throws incomplete. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 20. Here comes the pressure. He gets sacked on the play. That makes it third and 15. From their own 15 yard line, third down. Yeah. 
So that'll make it fourth down. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on a pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. Decent effort. He's not the type of guy to call a fair catch very often. He does have the ability to make guys miss. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Here's the handoff, and he's taken down for a loss. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on their own 45. He gets rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Austin's out with a tailback on the screen. And he's taken down around the 48-yard line. Pick up of about seven that time on the screen play. It's a well-designed play to the halfback, and it worked at least to get them a medium gain on the play. In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. You gotta wonder right now which offense is gonna open this thing up a little bit. I think the answer will be which offensive coordinator is willing to take a chance or two to try to open some plays up. Because right now, not only are they losing the battle up front, but they're really not testing the defense downfield at all. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. He's on the run. They'll make the sack. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 22. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Makes the catch and look out. Tackle made at the 30. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. Five wide. This guy's got the combination of smarts and reliability that makes a receiver really dangerous. No wonder he's looked to on third down. Fires incomplete, knocked away. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 40. Runs it left for a decent game. That's a game set on the play. Third and nine. Check, check, check. He steps out at the 48. That'll make it fourth and two. Booming kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Boy, neither offense can find any kind of rhythm so far, Herbie. Yeah, it almost feels like the two offenses are just kind of feeling their way right now, allowing both these defenses to just, just to dominate the game. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. There's a strike complete. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. That makes it second and two. We go to work. We go to work. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Four down, four down. No, 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 check that, check that. We're like 52 right here. Here go. 288. Here go. 
gets it to his tight end for a first down. And he's shoved out of bounds at about the 37-yard line. First down. Four down, four down. Mike 52, Mike 52. Three down. 268. So at the end of one quarter, no score here. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. Hey, Mike 52, Mike 52. And they push him out around the 49-yard line. You talk about a dual-threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. From the 49-yard line, first down. Just throws this one away. Open field. He's knocked out of bounds around the 44-yard line. It's third and five. Ball on the 44-yard line. Alert! 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 The cavalry's coming. Goes quickly. It's almost intercepted. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. And he's got to be happy with that punt, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, that was nice. And now they're looking at a long way to go to even think about a score. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. And he just gets rid of it. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. They line up at the 10. Second down. Got hit and still completed it. They'll bring him down at the 12. The D sniffs out the screen pass and holds him to a short game. Contain, contain, contain. That's the only way you can shut down a guy with 4-2 speed. Here's the halfback on the screen. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 19-yard line. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Tackle at the 41-yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Tackle around the 41-yard line. That makes it second and ten. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. Go! Quick strike to the back, no good. How about that defensive play? Yeah, somebody better go get the trainer. I'll tell you what, that tailback is lucky to still have his helmet on after that shot. Throw to the tight end, and he is drilled at the 49 yard line. This is a great punt blocking team that looks like they're going to try to get to this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Let's go! Come on! Gets it. He's in space. Right down. The 24-yard line. 
That makes it second and six. Throws left, the running back's got it. He tackles him for a loss. That'll be a two-yard loss. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Third and eight. Ball on the 22-yard line. Fires out to his wideout. He's tackled at the 28. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. And this one is a beauty. He makes it to the 32-yard line. Both defenses really played well so far, Irving. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Complete. He's got room. He's out of bounds at the 35-yard line. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 35. Complete brought down, nothing to it. And he just gets rid of it. So the defense gets him to go three and out. Good job here defensively forcing this incomplete pass. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. He really got a hold of that one. How discouraging this must be for these offenses at this point in this game. Neither of these offenses at this point, Brad, can get any kind of rhythm going. And I think you got to give credit to the defense. The defenses have come out and played hard today. But enough's enough. We need to start seeing some points on the board. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. And down he goes at the 27. It's second and nine. Ball on their own 27. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. Quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. And he's hit immediately. It was a well-designed and executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. A minute left in the half. Oh, excellent punt. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. And he's tackled at the 24. Quick throw out to the receiver. Gain of four on the play. That makes it second and six. Second down and six. Ball on the 24. Trouble, but he can't shake the defense. 
Man, it's an offensive lineman. This is the worst thing you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that. Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of it. Gets out to around the 22. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. Dukes out of timeouts. And watch out, they're going to bring the heat right here. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. We've played a half. Still no score. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Both of these offenses are known for producing big plays. It's one thing to produce a big play against the average run-of-the-mill defense that you see mostly in college football. And it is quite another to do it against the type of talent these teams are facing. I think they're seeing that, aren't they? It seems like you just bump your head up against the wall. Nothing's going your way. And it, it, it forces you to be extremely patient. But when I start looking at these defenses, I'm seeing a lot of guys that you could probably drop into Madden right now. And they would have a huge impact on the ball game. Next level guys, full grown man, full grown men that you don't want to mess with. So. There's a lot of little boys out there playing college football, but there's some next-level guys that are playing some grown man football. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. We've got a good, a lot of good game score. We're locked and loaded. We've got all the big screens going. You're going to be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. Yeah. We're loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. Great first half and a tight ball game. And we're set to start quarter number three. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Now's when you start to approach each drive thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. Yardage. Number 52 brings him down at the 29 yard line. It's second and six. All on the 29 yard line. My 52, my 52. Take go. Lock it in the eye. And they make the stop at the 47. Getting the ball to your tight end and allowing him to make plays in the passing game can really open things up on the outside for your real speedsters. From their own 47-yard line, it's first down. Mike 52. Mike 52. Down. Got a man. Watch out here. And he's taken down right around the 48-yard line. Gain of five yards. That brings him second and five. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Number 24 makes the tackle at the 44 yard line. That'll make it 31. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. He makes his way to about the 32. Call the game at 12 yards. First down. You don't want that. Come on, go. Tailback brought down for a loss. So they end up with a loss after calling the draw. He started out rushing the passer and then just got lucky and ran right into the running back on the draw. From the 33 yard line. Second down. Quick pass. Tackle made at the 29. And 
This is the eighth play of the drive. What a relief it is for a quarterback to know that he's got a receiver like this who can step up when he needs him on third down. First and ten. Ball on the 21. 52's the mic. Watch Mike. Watch Mike. Taken down in the backfield. Tenth play of the drive. Well, really good call here by the defense coordinator. Perfect time to dial up the blitz. The blitz didn't get home, but it did free up a defense alignment to get to the quarterback to come up with that sack. It's third down and 14 yards to go now after that setback by the sack. Under heavy pressure, and here's a quick throw. And it's intercepted. And that was just an outstanding pick. Great play by the defender to high point the ball, but the quarterback wasn't in rhythm on the throw. First down. This is a scary spot deep in their own territory. They come out in a goal line set. Might have been some early movement up front. False start. Offense. That penalty will move them back a bit. Yeah, and with so many young guys out Still there, it's bound down. to happen occasionally. That'll make it second and seven. They're packed in tight on the line. He makes it out to maybe the seven-yard line. The back gets three on the carry. And he took a shot on that play, Brad. It looks like his head might be still ringing a little bit. Easy, easy. Nice pitch and catch for the first down. That makes it first and ten. Loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. From their own 13 yard line, it's second down. Taken down right around the 24 yard line. He gets to about the 34 yard line. This kind of execution from an offense can really affect the defense in their sight. That's the second time on this drive alone they've been able to convert on a third down. This defense has got to be able to kind of gather themselves and try to find some confidence. And somebody on that defense has got to be able to make a play to slow this offense down. So that sack sets them back a little bit now. They're looking at second and 13. He's scrambling, decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. He's at midfield. Inside the 30. They'll bring him down right around the 14-yard line. Well, that's another first down, Brad. That's the fifth first down on this drive. You know, they're, they're, this offense isn't hitting a lot of big plays, but they're very, very consistent with their execution. It's putting a lot of pressure right now on this defense. And he shoved out of bounds around the four-yard line.
touchdown, Blue Devils. Great job of some tough running right there. When you get close to the end zone, things get very tight, and it's tough to maneuver. He makes the PAT. A 10-play, 98-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So the score now. 7-0. The Blue Devils continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. The quarterback comes back on the field, and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. The last possession did go in the favor for this offense. I'd expect to see them come out and be a little bit more conservative with some safe play calling in order to avoid another bad result. Three, maybe four yards on the pass. You don't have to throw it deep to have success. Any sort of completion can help boost an offense's confidence. From their own 29-yard line, second down. That's three down and one to go. Duke's lead is a touchdown. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Four down, four down. No, 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 check that, check that. We got Mike Cooper two right here. Tackle at the 32-yard line. That makes it third they need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. He makes it out to maybe the 33 yard line. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. Booming kick. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. Kirk, I got to ask you, are these two offenses that anemic or are the defenses that good? I think it's a combination of both. I think both of these offenses have shown at times an ability to execute for points on the board, but they're playing against two really good defenses. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Duke is up by a touchdown. Blast at the eight. Blast. Blast. Now he's scrambling. Brought down at the 35. That's a that makes it second and six. six. Kill, 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 kill. White nine. Check, check. check. Throws and it's incomplete. Number 84 was the intended receiver. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball on the 35 yard line. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He's out to the 30, and down he goes at the 32. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is, we still have such a close game despite how well they've played. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Second and six. Ball on the 36. Where's 52? Watch 52. 52 is the mic. There you go. 
This quarterback is tough as nails, Brad. He's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. Gets it off as he's hit, complete. He gets hit out of bounds around the 48-yard line. Gain of 12 yards. From their own 48-yard line, first down. Fires out to his wideout. He's tackled right around the 44-yard line. That's a gain of eight on the play. That makes it second and two. Just under three to go in regulation. Check, check. Disco Raver. Disco And he hits him hard at the 45. it deep. Picked off by the senior. And that is an absolutely huge turnover for this defense. They couldn't have picked that off at a better time. Just a horrible decision by the quarterback trying to force that pass, especially at this point in the game. First down, 10 yards to go. All on their own 26. Completely stopped immediately. Pretty nice pickup here. These guys are getting very tight on their timing. The Panthers taking their first time out of the half. And down he goes at the 34. So they get about three on the draw. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. the catch and look out and he's level at the 49 i'll tell you something i'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on he's really throwing the ball with some purpose and he's tackled around the 43 yard line that makes it second and two so it's second down and about two yards to go just over a minute left That's another first down. Right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs is pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. And he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. Here's the eighth play of the series. Staff and really this entire team, I'm sure, is going to rally around this kid. Yeah, this is a tough loss for this team. I mean, they put so much into this game. But one thing about them is they're they're a team. And even though their star player had a tough game, I think they'll pick him back up and get him ready to go by next week. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Curb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.